some folks know about Waller Creek. You know, some folks walk over it. But I, I don't think a lot of people appreciate the fact that we have this really cool little ribbon of, of habitat that runs through campus that wild things do exist in here. You are now the snake tracker. Um, there's a vertebrate natural history class that's taught on campus. Um, and we'll bring those guys out um, during one of their afternoon labs for, for two, three hours. We'll come out here and we'll have swaths of students going up and down the creek looking for these snakes. And we usually catch one or two, so they'll be able to see us do, go through the whole market recapture process. But we've also inter, uh, introduced another aspect of <laughs> this study, and that was to put radio transmitters inside of the snakes. Um, radio transmitters broadcast a signal, so we could come out at any time of day, you know, seven days a week, and find those animals, and really get a better handle on how they're utilizing their habitat. So when we're going down the creek, we're primarily, most of our surveys are done at night. Uh, so we've got headlamps and flashlights. The, the one kind of neat thing about this creek is that there are no venomous snakes in this creek. This is a, a serendipitous sport. So you go through the creeks, you see a snake, you make a dive, you make a grab for them, and, and hope you come up with them, and then scan them later and go, oh, it's somebody we've seen, or gee, it's a new one, great, we'll, we'll mark it. Water snakes get a bad rap. Um, because they, they do like to bite, and, they, and, and really one of the worst things about water snakes is their musk. These guys, they, they, they've got a lot of, of, of things in their toolbox as far as defense goes. Oh, that's a big there snake. There you go. It smells good. Yeah, you smell good, girl. Mm -hmm. Why would someone care about these bitey, stinky water snakes? Well, I think that these water snakes can, can serve as an indicator for the health of this creek. I think it's also been great for the students who have learned a little bit about the snake ecology and a little bit about you know why it might be important to to study what might be considered a really common species that in that that common species could be an indicator for the health of an ecosystem i want you to hold this guy here maybe hold him kind of tight so he doesn't bite you <laughs> and hold him right there and we we pit tag them we put a microchip under their skin to, to individually mark each animal and it's really cool to see those kids really get into it because, wow, not only have they had fun get, getting creek and get wet and you know, tromp around, but they've actually contributed a data point to a larger study. And I think the process of doing is so important, particularly in a field experience. And yeah, we're, we're five minutes from the classroom. What amazes me is that this creek persists in spite of us. I mean, we've got bridges now that, that cross over their habitat. We've got dams where their dams didn't exist before, um, larger pools of water that weren't here before. The fact that these guys are able to, to survive, you know, make their living in this environment, despite everything that we've done to it, it's pretty remarkable. Mm -hmm.